My buddies and I, we're, we're gonna jump on that creature. We're gonna go exploring the land. Two new animators. Raptors! <laughs> that mouth is really unhinged. And looking like tiny missiles running around. <laughs> it's, no, it's not Wings of Fire. It's Wings of Dawn. Oh boy, I'm gonna get some interesting comments about this. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Willow Heart here, and welcome to a reaction video. I bet you're probably noticing behind me things are a little different in here. I am actually in my older sister's closet. It is a much better muffler when it comes to sound echoing. And I use this room a lot, especially with my um blue snow my blue my blue snowball here, uh, for professional recordings, especially voiceovers. So I know it's a little messy in here. Especially um, the uh, nutcrackers, my nutcracker guard. So don't worry, I'm safe. No, uh, no, no intruders can get me in here. So I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So um, t today's video is a little special. I am actually going to be doing a reaction for this game, uh, which is called wings of dawn and no no it's not wings of fire i know what you're thinking you're thinking it's a dragon game it's a dragon game with scavenger <clears throat> humans and um there are other creatures it's no it's not wings of fire it's wings of dawn oh boy i'm gonna get some interesting comments about this <laughs> um a little bit of a backstory uh before we continue so if you see my community post I announced that I am officially a content creator for Wings of Dawn. How I discovered this game, I discovered it on Steam and on YouTube, and it was just so enchanting, so beautiful. The graphics, the um, the mechanics of how it's the creatures fly and run and all that stuff. It's gorgeous. The map is beautiful. It reminds me of Day of Dragons. Maybe a little bit more higher quality. I mean, Wings of Dawn is still in works. But nonetheless, it has caught my heart and my attention, and I really want to do this. So I reached out to the director, and um, I reached out saying, hey, I would love to be a content creator. And, well, here I am. And one of the things I'll be doing is reacting to whatever videos they'll be uploading onto the channel. So I'm going to be reacting to three of his videos. Uh, seriously, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for allowing me to be a content creator. I can't wait for the partnership and the adventures we will share together. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is our first month. Oh, of look at that flying! We'll covering what we did. So much December. weight to it. Oh. Um, before I begin, however, I just want to say thank you all so much for the support in the last video. The lighting. Uh, the time we're recording, it's beautiful. It Twelve thousand views. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've noticed it just hits the. Uh, there we go. Uh, algorithm again as well. Oh, just look crazy. how gorgeous it is. Um, it's seen us hundreds of new Discord members. I'm gonna and full screen it. The Patreon massively. So there thank you all so much for that. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So, as this is the idea? first time doing this type of video, yeah, we'll be is. doing a little trial trial and error. Just look how the wing flaps in the breeze. Oh. Starting with the creature update, followed by the world update. You guys did a wonderful update, job, finally, even when it's still in development. Intriguing. Wonderful. And we'll be dividing this update into dragons, creatures, world. You can feel the weight other. in each flap. It's gorgeous. So starting with the dragons, uh, we had quite a productive week, starting with the first dossier image of the Noctura. Ooh! Uh, we then began to draw a terrifying. model sheet for the Valad, which will not be in a tech demo. Oh! In the future to model that's the pretty wicked! With ease. Over the course of December, Ek and myself stream a creation of the Kirin. Ooh! Kirins! I've the seen these! Oh! That we all know. Ooh! Yes! Yes, Kirins! So these are Kirins. Kind of horsey like creatures uh but they're not horses if i remember correctly they're more kind of dragon dragony like but still pretty cool nonetheless oh. with its base skin uh we even did a stream uh, stream suggested skin of course it was a zebra skin oh zebra yes we did not get around it's, to doing it's like a zebra a zebra unicorn old, mix with horns of a deer next month all animations will be finished, and it should be added to the tech demo. The Archwind received a new skin, which Ooh. is very good, if I don't say so myself. Uh, the ice it, that, that kind of slightly... I don't know, maybe it's just me. Skin, which looks very but it kind of reminds me of a bit of a dragon... Some of the dragon designs from Day of Dragons. Just a little. But that could be just me. Oh. Still, I love the colors. The Icy Crown was released early into the month, allowing players to test and Ooh. mess around with it. 
well, we found a number of new bugs. Um, these have nice. been fixed or actively being worked on. The, ice the animations are still in works, so I know this looks like he's walking too fast for a dragon with so much weight. I mean, this is a still work in progress. For now, though, the Icy Crown is a better flyer than Volgan, being able to fly faster and turn harder. However, Makes it sense. does have less health than the Volgan and is far smaller you are, the faster you fly and Flight the quicker you turn. Works. Well, more of an edit, really. Diving is now faster, and you'll be able to keep the speed for a longer period of time. Mm. The turning circle for flying was also improved, so that you don't just turn on the spot. Oh, that's we just beautiful. The conclusion that the area oh, it's gorgeous. Did not feel great and was very difficult to master. So we added a new lock-on. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of exploring only. in this game. When a dragon um, is flying, it will be able to click middle mouse. Uh, oh. Just zoom in and lock. Target while flying. Allow the lock-on feature. Uh, it Pause. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know if you guys play it, but I used to. And it's a Wii game called Guardians of Gahul. I have a hard time playing that game because that game is really tough. But in one of the games, you have like this targeting kind of lighting thing that comes up whenever you're targeting a specific um, target, like an enemy or a friendly person. I don't know. It's been a long time, but it kind of reminds me of that just a little. Again, it's been a while, but I think that's pretty cool. It makes it easier to target uh, a player while flying because you're, you know, flying very quickly. So that's pretty genius. We'll slowly uh, create a sphere around the target. Uh, if this is, if the line of sight is broken, the lock will also be broken. Mm. Players will not be able to lock onto ground creatures or use their breath ability with the lock on. This is going to be tweaked to make it work better depending on the creature using it and a visual overhaul will be um, done. At the moment it's just a placeholder. Fire slash mm -hmm. ice breath Ooh. allows it to be aimed properly with both variations Ooh. of the effects on the ground for a extra spice. Dude, that's sick. I'm sorry, hold on. Hold on, I just got for a little <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Breath hold on. I just noticed something properly wait. with both variations. That mouth is really unhinged. It's like way down there. Holy mackerel. Wow, that is really an unhinged jaw. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Terrifying. Kind of mainly terrifying. Giving effects on the ground for a Yeah, that is really unhinged. Wow. But still cool. Finally, we have reworked the movement, so now everything should be moving at the correct speeds. Mm, rather that's good. Than looking like tiny missiles running around. <laughs> This will be tweaked when we get more feedback. From just, just imagine, like you're just flying around, and you see like a like a big dragon just go, wow, running across the map. <laughs> yeah, that'll be funny. That'll be funny. Developers and the public Patreon testing. We have been working heavily on redesigning some creatures and following our new creature guidelines uh, that we've laid out in our game design document. Mm -hmm. Nika has remade the emu creature, which originally looked like this, mm -hmm. but now it looks like this. Pretty, pretty unique and interesting. Um, so I guess it was more uh, was a bird, and now it looks more like a a dragon as such. I'm not too keen of a fan of the head. I don't know. It just seems kind of wonky, kind of cartoonish. My opinion on it. I mean, I understand they're trying to go for more kind of a dragon theme like. My personal opinion, I do kind of somewhat like the old concept a little bit because it's more kind of avian, reptilian kind of looking prehistoric. While this one kind of looks like a dragon buggy kind of creature. Just me. That's my opinion. Many people may like the new redesign, but that's just my opinion. Materius and myself messed around with some new designs for a AI mount, Ooh. which will eventually be oh. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. My buddies and I, we're, we're going to jump on that creature. We're going to go exploring the lands. Woo! Going out of the desert, playing some cowboy music in the background. Mm. We're going to have fun. Love it. In the future, be in the game, uh, this creature does so not yet have a name. So in the comments below, I'll leave a message saying name the reptile mount, where you lot can post names and ideas, and the one we like the most will get a key for the tech demo 
Striker. His name is Striker. Striker from, uh, Hell of a Boss. Yeah, Hell of a Boss. Striker. I don't know. I just, I just thought of Striker. <laughs> I just, I just thought of Striker, but yet, oh my gosh, headphones, stop it. I just, I just, I thought of Striker. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Early. Uh, the carnivorous repti reptilian mounts will live in jungles and rocky terrain, mm -hmm. being able to climb over rock faces with little <gasps> to no effort. Ooh. Large tree. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's even better. Just riding on this iguana, climbing up over the rock faces, and just um, uh, go after your targets. Just climb up the rock face. I love it. Ah, gorgeous. Perfect addition. Freeze. When tamed, this creature will be able to have two separate saddles, a single seater, and a double seater. That's genius. You have to go out there and actually tame the creature, not just like either you just trade or well, I guess you, I don't know about trading. It's better than buying the creature, like using money to buy it. You you have to work to get the creature. I like that. A lot of games don't do that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call them out. World of Warcraft, they do this thing with you have to like, you know, buy the creature to get them on the shop. I think it makes it more worthwhile to get it in game. Taming it, winning it, winning it from a boss drop. This is a smart way to go. Thank you very much. A lot of games do the whole microtransaction things. This is genius idea. Ah, thank you. I was actually concerned for a moment that this would be something like a store buying thing. I'm glad that's not the case with this creature. M maybe they would have to do um, buying store creatures, perhaps to help support the games when it comes to patches and updates and animations. That's understandable. I'm just glad when it comes to this creature in particular, you don't buy it from a store. So, props. Props to you. A single-seater saddle uh, will not affect the movement of the creature. However, a double-seater will remove the ability to climb trees and vertical surfaces. Makes sense. Makes complete sense, actually. As a warm-up to the Kirin streams, Ek decided to make one of our fish Ooh. animated, which took around an hour and a half. Nice. Just simple animation, As but still gorgeous. Video, we currently have two new animators. Raptors! Under... Um, Style. Both of them are doing that's smooth. One of the, Ooh, uh, that tongue! One of them wow, doing the scathe. That's smooth. Is a form of Ooh, that's really and smooth. The other one is working on the antelope to make it feel better. That is smooth. Whoever did this one, you did an amazing job. Noah has been very hard at work adding the human settlements. As we Ooh, they needed a human settlements. Job. Let's see this. Starting with the docks, a number Ooh. of different buildings, such as a lighthouse. Beautiful. Towers, it's kind of Skyrim houses, feeling, course, is it? Kind of Skyrim. Further up the road is a oh, it's gorgeous. With some windmills and a stage it's very Viking-like, kind of like living back then. Finally, we get to the largest human settlement on the map. This oh, will here we go. Only to save zone on the map, which will have a few trading locations as well. But for now, it's a um, place for humans to eventually hide oh. or loot. Uh, we will have the lower That's town, nice. which is filled with fields and farmhouses. Yes. The layer of buildings is mainly covered with houses, a town hall. I wonder if they're going to have NPCs. Like, is there going to be, like, NPCs in this game? So that way you can have like, NPCs, you know, like, innkeepers, so you could buy, like, armor, upgrade armor, buy weapons... Probably quests to hunt dragons, other creatures, to skin hides and stuff, and, you know, trade them to players, too, like an auction house. I think that would be pretty genius. It definitely would make it more of an MMORPG, because you have to interact with players and NPCs to get what you need to survive out there in the world. So, I really do hope that is the case, but we shall see. ...for people to meet up or do speeches in, along with several barns. It's gorgeous. And finally, we reached the Lord's Castle. With yes. Fully furnished, uh, with fully furnished. We house. need a medieval castle with the interior. Yes. Imagine the role play. The role play would be awesome. And then you get nuked by a dragon. Probably. Eternals, a small farmstead, and far more to explore. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's perfect. That's nice. Uh, we're in the process of adding new settings so that people with lower NPCs will be able to lower settings down and get higher performance. 
along with sound options Ooh. to increase or lower down the sounds. Okay, so there's and NPCs. Different screen resolutions. That's what I thought. We've been working on the team system now, um, which is working much better than it used to. However, it still needs a few minor tweaks to make work better, and we need to add a little bit of polish to it as well. Hmm. One of our largest features is oh. our rework spawn screen, which has been moved from this old version, which was very basic. What was it called? It's called a Volgen, and we have an ice, uh, icy crown. Ooh, kind of like ice crown of World of Warcraft. Nice. Spawn screen, which has been moved Volgen. from this old version, which was very basic, to something a little more clean and advanced, which shows off the gender. And skins. Um, we will eventually also, nice skins. A background with some forest. I wonder if you could be, be able to do some customization. Uh, recording this during the day and not the night time, because it doesn't look as good. Sorry about that. It's okay. You're learning. This is the beginning stages. And finally, for those that noticed, we also added a spectator cam, which will eventually only be accessible for admins of mobs, who will remove any troublemakers that the tech demo uh, will eventually have. But for now, everyone can use it, and we'll be using that for trailers. That's genius, you know, to kind of go in there making sure that none of anyone is causing any mischief or ruining people's days. I think that's genius. I think of, like, Game Masters. I think it's kind of like Game Masters, isn't it? Yeah, like GMs, Game Masters. Pretty genius. There's all more content. Or I could be wrong. So, as we wrap up the video, we're going to show off the most recent fan art made over on the Discord in the past month. Nice fan bit. arts. Of course, we These love good fan art. Of artwork. So, thanks again, though, to help support us or get your hands on the work in progress tech demo early. Head over to our Patreon and become a Wyvern tier or above. Go check out their Patreon. Uh, however, help support them if you want to. Spreading the word is support enough. Please don't feel like you have to um, mm -hmm. go and support us monetarily. It's not needed. Um... Yeah, support them if you can. Honestly, support them support if you have the money to. Uh, we will hopefully be getting out the tech demo for free in March. However, oh, March. if you have to delay it, we will delay it. Um, we're not going to make the same mistakes we've made in the past or the other um, developer groups have as well. Um, nice. Also, if you are a content creator and would like to do videos on this, please head over to our Discord and contact Track Knight. <sighs> Um, that will be myself. Um, I can hand out keys and we can also discuss things if you would like. Yeah. But for now, I hope you have yeah. a fantastic yeah. Christmas and a happy New Year's. I intend on eating... Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's a good video. Wings of Dawn, New Dragons. Uh, again, check them out. 